This is a converging lens. You can see that it's curved on both sides. Light can pass through the lens from either side, so there's a focal point on each side of the lens labeled F where parallel light rays focus. To differentiate between the two focal points, we call the point on the same side as the object F prime. The distance between F and the center of the lens is called the focal length. 2F represents a point that is two focal lengths away from the lens and is shown on both sides of the lens as 2F and 2F prime. A straight line passing through the lens and the focal points F and F prime is called the principal axis. Usually, a dotted line is drawn through the middle of the lens to aid in the drawing of light ray diagrams. There are three rules to follow when drawing light ray diagrams, which help to show where an image would form. Rule number one, a light ray directed parallel to the principal axis refracts through the focal point F on the other side of the lens. Rule number two, a light ray directed through the focal point before the lens F prime will refract parallel to the principal axis. Rule number three, a light ray directed through the center of the lens will not refract, but will continue in the same direction. If drawn correctly, these three light rays will intersect at the same point, which is where the image forms. In this case, the image is located on the other side of the lens between F and 2F. It is inverted and smaller than the object. Because the light rays intersect at the same point, it produces a real image. 